Greetings, all! Today, we will be examining the uncommon Psychic-type Pokémon Spoink, the Bounce Pokémon, and its relatively rare evolution Grumpig, the Manipulate Pokémon. While they might not come off as being among the more conventional Psychic-type Pokémon, the members of the Spoink family are interesting critters that can definitely use the opponent's own mind against them in the right cases. Spoink have gray pig bodies with two small digitalist arms, an ovoid body form, large nose, and beady black eyes. Their cheeks having pink blush marks and in place of legs, they use a long coiled tail as a spring to hop around. Their ears are quite small but pointed and act as holders for a large pink pearl that they hold on their head and use to focus their psychic power. Their evolved form, Grumpig, have a much more traditional pig form with a purple body and black skin covering their lower frame legs and arms with three digits on their hands and two on their feet. Their black ears are still pointed, but slightly curled to the side, and the nose and the inside of their ears have turned pink, as has their coiled tail. Their black eyes are complemented by the large black pearl on their stomach and the two that are embedded on their forehead, which are also used to help focus their psychic power. The members of the Spoink family are interesting mammals that have developed a unique way to use their psychic power as a force of manipulation and damage in battle. Unlike many other Psychic-type Pokémon, while these creatures do possess an innate ability to harness psychic energy, their skills in biology do not normally allow them to do so at a level that can make them capable of being classified as true psychic types, or even capable of using the attacks of their type on their own. To rectify this, these creatures use special pearls that their bodies generate in order to focus their power, using the crystalline structure of the pearls to amplify the psychic energy that naturally exudes into a concentrated form that can make them a viable threat in a fight. In the case of Spoink, this comes in the form of a very, very large pink pearl that they hold on their heads with their stiff pointed ears, and they're in dire need of this pearl as the physical power is extremely low at a young age, constantly looking for larger pearls to use on that note, meaning that their special powers are the only form of offense that they perform decently at. If they lose this pearl, it is possible for these creatures to obtain a replacement stone, because as it turns out, in places like the Hoenn region, these beasts can steal the pearls from Wild Clam Pearl to use as a direct substitute, as the two pearls are nearly identical in terms of structure and function. As for Grumpig, they are gifted in that they do not require external pearls in order to function as they naturally produce black pearls in their body that are embedded into their skin and central nervous system, thus allowing them to function just like regular psychic types with few knowing the truth or being able to tell the difference. These precious gemstones are highly valued, especially on the black market, and these beasts will defend them with their lives as needed, as they are pretty much defenseless without them, minus the few physical attacks they learn, and even then, their physical strength is incredibly low, even in a fully evolved state. Because their pros give them an immense amount of control over their mind and those of others, plus the thick layers of fat that cover their body, these creatures can have access to thick fat and own tempo as base abilities, while those that are really into their pig form and find themselves unable to resist a good meal can also have access to gluttony as a hidden ability. In terms of stats, and looking at Grumpig, it can be seen that these creatures are definitely not among the strongest of their type and in many ways fall short of being effective fighters, with the majority of their base stats being below average for fully evolved psychic type Pokemon. The only real exception to this is their base special defense stat, which is above average as a result of the energy reflecting capabilities of the body fat that covers their form, enabling these beasts to at least take a decent hit or two in battle before likely outliving their usefulness. As a consequence of a rare genetic defect in the species, Spoink have a very inefficient circulatory system and are unable to keep their heart pumping regularly without some sort of kinetic force to keep it moving. While this might seem to be a death knell for the species, these creatures have actually managed to alter their anatomy in order to rectify this, primarily by using their tails as springs. The connective tissue that is contained in the tails of these beasts is highly elastic, and by coiling it permanently into a spiral shape during development, these pigs create a stable platform that they can then use to bounce around. The act of bouncing on the tails injects kinetic energy directly into their hearts and helps them to pump in a stable rhythm that keeps the blood pumping and the rest of their body oxygenated and perfectly healthy. On one hand, this allows these creatures to naturally learn the splash and bounce moves as they develop, and it can make them a tricky customer to strike with some types of ground-type attacks, as limiting contact with the ground helps to reduce the impact of seismic-based moves in practice. On the other hand though, this still presents a major weakness in the species, as while they can survive for a few minutes without bouncing, it really hurts their bodies and overall health, thus making it imperative that they keep bouncing up and down no matter what, even while they are asleep. Thankfully, their diets are relatively easy to work with, as they tend to love mushrooms and will gladly use their superb sense of smell to locate and dig up any that they can find, making them fairly self-sufficient in the wild. 
It is also noted that these creatures have been known to engage in contests with one another to see who can bounce the highest, though this is usually done in a friendly manner and does not reflect true aggressive disputes of any kind. While Spoik are relatively friendly and easy to work with for the most part, it is their evolved form Grumpig that can sometimes prove to be a bit of a menace to have to work with in a fight. Aside from having a circulatory system that actually works properly and their twisted digestive tract give them access to the nasty belch attack after they evolve, these creatures are masters of using their psychic power to manipulate others, and generally do so, oddly enough, through dance. These creatures automatically gain access to the teeter dance technique as soon as they evolve, and they can perform it by focusing their psychic power in their black pearls while doing a strange little jig. This dance is designed to calm the minds of these beasts and get them in a rhythm, and they are best able to use the psychic powers by releasing their energy in timed pulses of power through their pearls, allowing them to amplify the power much more so than if they were just releasing their power as bulk energy, which is also why they do not normally gain access to the basic confusion attack growing up. It's easy to tell when they're using their power, as the snorting breath of these beasts will become labored as it focuses all their will into using their power. Once they've got a target in sight, these pigs will use their dances to take control of their target's mind and manipulate them into doing anything they want via intense hypnotic suggestion, hence their title as the Manipulate Pokemon, and can perform this rather well, even against other psychotypes of power levels equal to or below their own. The dance itself has also become extremely popular among local communities where they live and many southern and Latin American countries overseas, and has made these pigs a cherished source of entertainment for many that come into regular contact with them. Strange in form and power, and definitely a bit different compared to many contemporaries of their type, the members of the Spoink family are nonetheless interesting creatures that can more than make for a confusing time to anyone forced to face them. They might not be among the strongest around, but they can definitely take a hit and still prove to be decent special walls that can fight back with a bit of special power of their own. Just make sure that you do them right and keep them healthy and happy as they grow and develop. Otherwise, they might see you as an opportunity to test their mind-controlling powers once they have fully evolved and ultimately leave you to the mercy of whatever embarrassing activity they force you to do once you're under their spell. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always an honor to be able to speak with you all on the subject of Pokemon in a way that brings me great joy and happiness in my work. If you would like to keep tabs on past and future work, click that subscribe button, check out my work on DeviantArt, and don't be shy about following me on Twitter, where you can find pertinent announcements on upcoming work before it is officially posted. Links to both can be found in the video description. If you would like to support my work and help Miguel and I continue to produce more content for you and improve upon our presentation, please visit us at my Patreon page, which you can also find a link to in the video description. Yeah, no. With that, I thank you for watching, and I wish you well.